Hi there, welcome back to Torment, Tides of Numenera. We're back here in the fifth eye and trying to find out about that adversary that is here. Is it Izg? No, I think it's the Malaise. Let's talk to that Malaise or let's look at it. This small, unassuming man occupies this space quietly, hands folded in front of him. He does not look at you, but you can feel his regard slip across you and dismiss you as you approach. His attention remains focused on the trio at the nearby table. Everything about him is nondescript, from his light brown skin to his drab clothing. But something about him gives you pause, as if you were approaching the throbbing core of a fallen vessel. When at last he turns his attention on you, you feel his regard settle. Like a soft blanket made of metal, it is almost oppressive. Malaise, he says, that is who I am. His voice sounds distorted, strangely out of sync, as if he were calling to you from a distance. You can't read his th thoughts any more than you can read the thoughts of the tables in the bar. Uh, do you know your name means sickness? Meaning itself is sickness, vision, action, movement, this is the only sign of health. His slow and indolent gaze is like a great weight on you. The energy that flows in your body, I read it through your skin, I see your actions before your muscles even begin to twitch. The body's secrets are no defense against me, what is sickness compared to this? Defense against him? Why are you watching those people? They shine, they call, they tempt, his voice shimmers strangely, and you hear a distorted echo of thousands of voices mimicking his words. Ah, uh, can you tell me about yourself? I am a constant, I live, I thrive, when a thought passes in your mind, I rush before it, I hear the pulsing of your thoughts, I am fabric, essential. Ah, uh, you're not a person, you are strange being where did you come from his voice is strange and disjointed the world has always known me look around the corner i exist on the smallest edge close your eyes and shiver i am the cold in your bones the saccade is my home the interstice is my mind the frost that surrounds his words suggests that you have offended him what can you tell me about this place Slowly turns his gaze toward the other patrons. A lodestone, a gathering of energies, empty meat, a brief morsel, an obstruction, a bone, an ingrown hair. His empty, terrifying gaze turns back to you. An impediment. A farewell. Let's talk to Dharma again. He hasn't moved from his position at the table, but he's accumulated more glasses and more plates. Uh, I think... Oh, no, let's talk about Clarion first. Maybe we can get him to... to help her when we tell him about the adversary or the malaise. Clarion seems to hold you in high regard. She thinks you're, you'd be a valuable ally in the endless battle. I've had more pressing matters closer to home. The adversary, remember? I'm not going anywhere until we've dealt with that nightmare. Um. Hmm. I think I may have a lead on the identity of the adversary. I'm grateful for your help, friend. Tell me your suspicions. And I'll see it can confirm or... If I can confirm or allay them for you. You see that man there, Malaise? He's watching you. The blood drains from his face. What right there? I see nothing. I, I feel nothing. He grasps your mind with his, not gently, and he echoes in your skull. Anything there is hidden to me. See, oh, can you sense anything? Let me see. In the center of her forehead, her skin iris is open, and a third metallic eye protrudes from her, glowing brightly. It extends from her head on a mechanical segment, emitting a series of rapid flashes that descend through the whole visible spectrum. At last the eye retracts and her forehead closes. 
She swallows and you can feel the fear radiate from her. She's right, it's there on a low pulse, a wavelength far below human thought. I mean, if you if you drink black ichor, then that will change, of course. Dharma, a control as hard as synth steel surrounds him. The adversaries have never done this. I knew they adapted, but by the Black Three, what has it learned? It has been watching us for how long? Siobi, be ready. Um, we should maybe confront it together right now. Yes, we will. He swallows and whispers, we're not ready. We'll never be ready. He closes his eyes and when he opens them again, they glow. But we can die trying. Hold, no one move. I know you're eager to get it over with and that you're terrified. Don't think you can hide that COB. It's not necessary. We are all frightened. Here, feel. A wave of his fear crashes over you and your body reacts instinctively, releasing adrenaline. Under the fear is a will of iron, an adamantine determination and a calm acceptance of whatever comes. All right, motivation talk. We can do this, but we need to work together. Remember our training and improvise as necessary. Now, let me prepare the killing floor. He closes his eyes and you can feel reality rippling around you. His strength is undeniable, his mastery certain. Ready in three, as the world crumbles around you, a new vision takes its place. Two, you can feel the push and pull of titanic minds struggling to establish the rules of this shared dream space. One, and then you sense Dama's control slip for just a moment, and the adversary gains the upper hand. Ask his attack, attack now! Are we dead again? We might just be. Oh, oh my. That seems dangerous. I'm bound. I can't move. What What are we doing? What can we do? Malaise's turn is on. Oh my god. Oh my god. We'll be helpless. I know we have Dharma the Bloom. Of the Bloom. We need to assist these guys. Maybe we can find then our strength. Tybius turn. Can you assist him? Mm, not really. Can you attack this malaise? Yes, you can. This one, this one. Let's go, let's go. This one to stop them from killing, maybe. Dharma the Bloom. 95. Seems like a good thing. 95%. Go. Half is done. Oh my god, a psychic infestation. That malaise. Um, now we're on, on it. We can do an onslaught. Mental onslaught, transdimensional onslaught. Mental is chemical, maybe energy. Ah, probably not the best. We can use an adaptation. Allies in the immediate area. We should do that. On to Rin. I want to get out of this menu. I think we we need something like that. Look at that. Unstable detonation. All in immediate area. Oh, that's not... As many as we need. But look at this. That should be good. Let's go for the adaptation. It's not bad, I think. Can we still hide? Let's hide. We can expend points? No, we won't expend these points. We may need them to attack. 
Calisteague's turn. Could attack this malaise. It would be doable. Five damage. Is that really all we can do? It might be. We might just do it. Let's go. Minimal effect. I can't have miscalculated. Very nice. We couldn't have killed it, so we spent the minimum attack and next round maybe Tybia can kill it. Let's try to hide. Not expending anything. She was spotted. And Rin is there, doing, able to do something. What can Rin do? Rin can run here and attack. I think we should do that. Maybe hide first. But only maybe. I think it might not be the best. Rin is quick though. She can only improve her chances of hitting. Ah, we won't expend anything. Let's go there. We'll, we'll go for a flanked modifier if we can later. Ouch, oh my god. The malaise is pretty dangerous. Need to take it down. Oh god, he's flanked. We are flanked. The onslaught is is taking its toll. Dharma is dying. Ah, he's healing though. I'm out. Where do you need me? Wow, that was good of Tiboros. Tiboros. The flash. Flash didn't work. Tybia can do something. Should attack or he should use something here. Can heal might. Can also attack the malaise, which he should. Three out of three. Ninety percent. Go for it. Ninety percent we missed. That's not good. A faint. A hook. Hmm. Oh, we need to end this round. Improbable, but sadly effective. Disgusting. I should be rid of this. Hmm. We need to kill that thing. We need to attack. 80% 3 damage, it's not enough. Need one more. There we go, critical hit. Very nice. Um, you should probably teleport or run away. Run away and attack this malaise, would that be possible? No, but this one we can attack. 40%, 60 even, or 80, it's not bad, we'll try that. Oh, I thought she would move. We can still move, let's move over here. Rin's turn, where is Rin again? Rin's around here too. Attack this malaise. Rin has nothing she can do. Zero damage. What what can Rin even do? Feriok. Hoo 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 hoo. Malaise. 
What just happened? It's killing us. It's killing Kalastig. Out of the question. I do not end like this. We have been healed. Oh, that's good. Out of the question. I do not end like this. Mm, there's a malaise. There is another malaise. We need to take this thing down. Uh, we need to remove it to zero. Move it to zero. Come on. Nice going. I've been healed a bit. Kalistik's dead. I'm not sure what what happens now. When we have the malaise here, we have the malaise here. Malaise here. Let's go for the wounded one. Full attack would probably be the the best thing we can do. Thirty percent. It's flanked. I mean, it doesn't help though. I can't hurt it. I told you I didn't want to fight. Tybia. No. It's hide. We need to go into hiding. I think. Then we can attack. Ferioc, will you help us? <sighs> that malaise was pretty dangerous. Come on, Dama. Do this. Ah, they're splitting up. That's not good. Some elbow room, will you? Where's the malaise that is most vulnerable? This one is, I think. 50, 50, 50. Need to go for this one. The thing we can do is a basic attack. And really nothing much else. Anymore. Maybe a hook. Maybe a sucker punch. We cannot hit really then. Really good. I need to go for this. I need to try. So we're spotted. Oh god. Dama. Don't kill Dama. There's so much damage. Another one bites the dust, thankfully. Another two. There is a malaise, there is a malaise. We're on it. 40%, 40%, 55. Ninety-five. There we go. Attack the Malays. <sighs> Rin can what can Rin do? Attack the Malays, but nothing will help. Go for the minimum way. And 
hide then. As she's the god of hiding. Hey, this one is going crazy. Feriok. Have we lost Calistique now? Oh, look at that. The malaise is going down. I think we're good here. But Dharma. Oh, Dharma has disappeared from this place. It's Tybius' turn now. We have a Malays here. We'll attack. Damnation. Damnation. They're healing back up. But not anymore. They're down. Let's finish it. Give it our all. Let's have another look at this. Still, we're, we're getting attacked pretty strongly. Dama has gone down. There's still some malaise left and we don't know what happens with party members with zero health after the combat. We don't know. Who is next? Nearest? This malaise would be... We should try to flank it, probably. All right. With Rin. Let's attack. She's the god of hiding. Should be able to do something. Let's... I can't hurt it. I told you I didn't want to fight. There we go. The Malaise is flanked. We can take it down now. You will join me, willing or not. Who are you? Malaise. Tybe has some psychic bleeding. Maybe go here and flank it. Fair enough. And now attack it. Now is the time. Faster than you look, aren't you? Oh my god, you're removing the flank modifier. That's not good. It's our turn now, though. We can attack. And move here. We have it flanked. We're getting psychic bleeding from what? Hmm. We've got Rin. Rin should set up more flanking. Here. Yeah, that's something I could do. And maybe hide then. It's because he can. Flanked in all directions. The malaise has a problem. It's compelled to attack this one. Oh my god. Anything that stops bleeding. We're dying. Oh my god. I can't, can't die. We need to attack. We need to give it our all. Oh, we cannot do anything against it. What's happening here? Can we can we use the onslaught? We will be able to do some damage if we hit. If we hit. We missed. Let's move away. No, let's not move away. We need to stay. We need to flank. Rin is still there. We, n we need to flank the Malays. To move over here. The Malayas needs to die. We're not dead yet. Lovely. 
Of all the probabilities, this gleaming thread was the weakest. You have danced on the edge of chance, Castoff. The psychic battlefield fades and the real world asserts itself. You return to the fifth eye. Oh my god. Blood loss, cranial fracture. Oh, <laughs> psychic bleeding. But we have not died, we, we just need to rest. The psychic battlefield fades, the real world asserts itself. You return to the fifth eye and the malaise is beaten. That was a close one. I've ever seen one. Dama of the Bloom, is it truly over? I almost can't believe it. He pauses and concentrates. No, the cloud has lifted, I can see. His eyes are bright. The city of Sega's cliffs, indeed, perhaps the world owes you a great debt. Pity you won't ever be able to collect on it, the Boris says, Diama of the Bloom. It's enough that we know, my friend, come now. Doesn't the day seem brighter already? Well, no, I haven't been outside. You know what I'd like? Another drink. All the celebration I need. See, we loves. Coming right up, Ferioc pours a round of tall, dark drinks, and they float smoothly through the air to you. All right, it's it's Ferioc. She's projecting. <laughs> she inclines her head gravely to you. You have our tremendous gratitude, friend. Indeed, Dama says, I cannot stress the enormity of this enough. We will tell others of your deeds. Whether or not you want this, he tips his drink. Cheers. Then the party begins. Crazy going. Eyes of the adversary. What did we have here? What have we done? Is this completed? It is. Potentially, I joined the psychic warriors, psychic warriors in a battle against the adversary known as Malays. We destroyed the creature, and the fifth eye is now safe. Very nice. Now to the bet we had. Cob. Her glass rises off the table of its own accord. You have done a great thing, though none may ever know it. <laughs> know that I and my friends hold you in high regard, and I know who the psychic projection is now. She laughs and crosses her arms. Who? I think it's Ferioc. She laughs delightedly. I won't even ask how you figured that out. If you guessed, it was a lucky guess, but your instincts were right. But then her face falls. I began manifesting him after he was killed. He was our spotter, the man who saw the adversaries and lured them to our battleground. But the last adversary he fought, it was ready for us. It caught hold of the lure he offered, and it followed his mind all the way to reality. It burned. She pauses, chokes back a sob. It burned him from the inside. She looks into the distance. He lured it to us, and with his dying will nailed it into place was a sacrifice any of us would have made, C.O.B. Dama says no matter who was in that position. He speaks softly, as if trying to convince himself. C.O.B. continues, The adversary didn't pay attention to us, even as we poured our heaviest attacks into it. It was too absorbed in destroying Ferioc, tearing him apart instead of defending itself, as if its first priority was in blinding us instead of preserving itself. Her voice turns hard, we beat it, though, so as long as I'm breathing, I'll keep his memory alive. He'll serve his drinks and make his bad jokes, and everyone here will feel welcome. It's the least I can do in his name. Farewell, and thank you. Woo! So, pretty heavy things we've done. We need to return, though to Tranquility's Rest in the next episode. And, well, we need to rest. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode of Torment, Tides of Numenera. Who knows what we'll see there and what we will encounter. Have a good time until then. <laughs>